Hello, everybody. Convention time. Hello, Woo. guys. We are over here at the Avanti, Avanti Palms. Awesome small convention going on inside. We're going to see Brandon from last week's video. He's got an awesome collection. I'm not too sure how big it's going to be inside there. Yeah, I think so. it's a smaller convention, but pretty excited. Yeah, it should be a really fun time. I hope you guys enjoy the video. We got a nice big wad of cash Woo. with us today, so hopefully we can take advantage of this crashing comic book market. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you inside. See Hit you that inside. thumbs up button and leave a comment down below let us know what you think woohoo let's go in and we do gotta find lenny still oh look at this this is the uh like the kit car right wow look how detailed that is inside that's sick some exciting news lenny is here and if you saw our megacon videos we submitted some cgc books with him really excited he pressed and cleaned them it's only been four weeks yeah and he said they're ready i can't believe he's done already pretty excited so let's go see what he's got for us yes we're gonna check it out we also brought him some more books i think i brought roughly 10 more more comic books a lot of modern like venom keys and stuff like that nothing super exciting but just some more stuff to hand him over figured it'd be cool to kind of keep the flow going with the cgc books so let's go hand him over to him right now you are the Got man the lenny here's your your oh prize all right here we go okay. i am so excited right, lenny you have no it, idea yeah, how excited i am put it down right here oh yeah my poly bags too thank you for that yes you're welcome oh is that the ultimate spider-man 96 yeah lenny did it oh Yay. yes lenny Oh, and man, they sent it back it. with your little bag. See? Oh man! Oh, See? Wow! Poly bag removed. You're the man, Lenny. Oh my God, that's killer! <gasps> Another oh. nine six. Yay. Lenny, oh my guys, this and is man. this is a tough book to be in high grade, and yeah, a lot of people exactly. probably I mean, don't. I was expecting a don't lot more. Maybe understand that this paper yeah. is super sensitive. Not an easy book to press, and it's funny that the back seems to be a lot easier to work on than the front but still nine. you're in a 9.4 yes. i said i thought all of them were a 9.0 or higher yes, oh wow so looks like i hit it right on the nose huh 9.0 or higher i'm very happy with those 296s it wasn't for, sure. for like the little ticks you had been in a higher grade but you still know. very happy with that for sure so that's three i don't know why you got so low on it must be something on the inside yeah, huh the inside i would have to check your grader notes i mean i know this rubbing corner but I thought that was a high, it's gotta be something on the inside, right? Yeah. I don't know. I'd have to check the greater notes, because the spine other than that one tick there. Well, hey, still a cool first appearance. Yeah. Definitely something for the whatnot streams, for yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. And here's yeah. the, so nice. the one you have. Oh, my God. And a 9.4, white pages. 9.4 yes. first print. print. Yeah, you did good wow. on this. Yeah. Oh, my that God. That was one of our Megacon pickups. Yeah. I only yeah, paid, what would we pay, like 150 or, so. or 200 for that? You, 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 you did very well. Wow. wow. There's the Harley. Oh Saved the God, best for last. And you got a 7. <gasps> Point oh, oh. on the new now, stand. Now you know that this one's was well read. Yep. Yes. See? I was expecting a 6.0. Yeah, so. I was yeah. expecting lower, so that's yeah. awesome. I mean, someone really loved this book. White pages. Yeah. Lenny, you stand? Lenny, you killed it. You are the man. This is Lenny wow. over here, guys. You got to throw him a follow. Spine works. Sup, nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Check him out, guys. We are putting the CGCs in the car right now. Yeah. We I are so happy. I still can't believe that these grades came back like this. This one is a little bit of a disappointment, but I'm probably going to end up giving it away during Sarah's birthday stream we got a really cool all key issue birthday stream planned on whatnot you guys can check it out right now yes we do have it listed check it out really excited for the birthday stream right, gonna be all keys let's get back inside let's go back let's go inside check out the convention all right we're going in whoa this place is cool look at everybody setting up already this is a really nice pop booth right here they got some loose pop figures along with some boxed Got some $5 pops over here. We came a little early, so I guess they're not letting anybody in super early right now. But as you can see, this place is all set up. Brandon's business partner just let us in. Thank you very much. Brian. Sarah. Brian. Nice to meet you, Brian. We're going to take some close-up looks at everything as soon as the convention opens. This is such a cool small event. Wow. What's going on, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. Awesome setup right here. Brandon's got a setup for sure. Look at all the key issues. 
This must be his partner set up with all the Spider-Man he was talking about. I really like their display rack here. So many key issues. Comment down below, what's your favorite one? Pop boots over here. These guys are nicely organized. We do host the Funko Pop Con and Toy and Comic Con. They're back-to-back -back events. Funko Pop Con, Funko product only. Uh, so Lounge Live Funko, Funko Sodas. And then we transition into Toy and Comic Con, which will have some of the same vendors but bringing different stuff. And new vendors, uh, comic books, retro toys, awesome. Hot Wheels, Pokemon cards, sports cards, you name it. So you handle uh, all the promotion for these things, Oh, right? yeah, definitely. I love putting it together. It is all community-based. So we make this free of charge event, usually 11 to 4. Saturday and Sunday, we do it every three months. So it's a quarterly event. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. And hopefully we can do more stuff with you guys. Sure thing, brother. I appreciate it. And thank you guys for coming by. We got some Conan the Barbarian. Some Man Wolf. Oh, Man Wolf's really Savage. cool. Doc Savage. Oh, that's an Eternals number one. Where's he asking for that? 65. 65 bucks for an Eternals number one? How's the condition on that? It's a minor spine. Takes a little rub. Oh, but up here it's, um, I don't know if that's a tear or oh, that's yeah, like a okay. stain on there. Oh, look at that. Spidey 2099 number one newsstand copy. Rougher copy. Beat up though, yeah. That foil. Marvel. Marvel number one. Lower grade copy on there. Like the foil cover one. from Image. That's cool. That's really cool. Moon Knight number one. Tyler Fine. Kirkham variant signed. <laughs> Silver Age Hulk. Some 12 cent Incredible Hulk. These covers are awesome. Look at that one with the Mandarin. You got 108. That is awesome with Kazar on the front, 109. Really nice issues right here. Beautiful cover on 112. I'll flick through these nice and fast so you guys can enjoy. What are the prices on these? Oh wow, 10 bucks an issue. Some really classic books. Some more 12 cent Marvel. The first abomination. Look at these beautiful Werewolf by Night books. Yes, we're nice gonna book. get a Disney Plus show, I believe, in October. Some nice early ASM in here. Yeah, look at that. That's 23, issue 23. 30. Iconic covers. That's the first shocker. That's a really cool one. We're only at the first booth. There's probably about like 20 other booths in here, so we're really excited to check them all out. They haven't even opened the doors yet, so we can't really buy anything. We're just looking. Taking a little sneak peek. Yeah, I think we're going to go and maybe check out some more booths. What do you think? Yeah, let's go. Some nice keys on the top over here, and it looks like they got second appearance of Miles. They got a Gargoyles 1, Punisher number 1. What do we got in the boxes? Oh, some got Daredevil. Some nice Daredevil. Some early. How much are they asking for their Daredevil? Like 15 to 20. 144. They're very nice condition too. Yeah. All, all put in Mylars. Looks like this booth is Pop Culture yeah. Playground. They got some really cool books over here. Oh, first Iron Fist. That's an iconic book. The first Conan. We have so many keys. I'm noticing that more too. Instead of the long boxes, everyone's using short boxes. Too heavy to carry. Yeah, yeah the long boxes are too heavy to carry. As uh, you get older, you, you get smarter. Some awesome books on that back wall over there. Yeah, these are some really early Fantastic Fours over here. Oh, look at that one, 82. You guys were in the Alan King to the Land Show, right? Yeah, we yeah, did. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of the shows I run. So yeah, we also heard you might be doing the Daytona show, yeah, also, uh, right? September 10th and 11th. Oh, that's gonna be an awesome show. We're really looking forward to that Daytona Beach Comic Convention. We will be there. Yes. Hope to see you there. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, thank you, guys. Yeah, we're really excited for that. Oh, I appreciate y'all. So how long have you been the videos? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. How long have you been running these events for? Um, over seven years. Daytona, we tried to make it a comic comic show. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, because Lots so many people members. go to the bigger shows, and I see them like at, at MegaCon or you see them at Tampa Bay or some of the other shows yeah. and they're like oh there's no comic vendors or it's the same seven or ten big dealers yeah. so we figured we put a good comic book show together you know that we'd get a lot of more people to come and then make it more family oriented that's awesome well, we're looking forward to it thank you so much for yeah, throwing these you. awesome events for everybody yeah, to come join Bamparella for Sarah <laughs> and he's got a lot of them he's got this so many cool books send away special so oh, you wow. had to mail out for it and they also did a hardcover which is really hard to find that's just a stiff cardboard cover but then there's a really hard yeah. hardcover one mm -hmm. that they only did about 200 of them that are signed and numbered inside that's amazing just announced it they're opening the doors here we go everybody's walking in for the convention it's gonna be a full house today for sure i saw some nice world by nights oh, in there nice really nice condition He's got so many cool comics. Yeah, look at all these. X-Men. The first Jubilee right there for 40 bucks. That's a nice one. This is what you see at conventions all the time. People come in with collections, trying to sell, trade. Oh, what is he asking for that Wolverine 10? That one's 50, but there's another one that's 35. Look what I just found. So there's a 7.5, first Morbius. Oh, I love this cover. Oh, yeah. That's 608, second print. Jim Lee, iconic cover, 9.8. Second appearance of the Ghost Rider, Marvel Spotlight 6. They're asking 50 bucks, which is a decent 
decent price, but it is in a little rougher shape. This is a really cool one right now. The Spot first appearance. He's supposed to be the new villain in the new Into the Spider-Verse movie with Miles Morales. We've only been to two booths so far, so we're gonna make our way around, but we're really enjoying it. Everyone's just coming in, so the party's just started. Look what we just found. Two copies of Amazing Spider-Man 315. He's only asking $30 a piece. Every time I see a post-it note, it's either a key or like a minor key. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. I guess he has all of the key issues in here with like post-it notes so you can tell what's like a significant issue that's actually really cool 123 these are some amazing covers and that one right there with man wolf 125 that's signed by side yeah. did you get a signed yourself yep that's sick that we got some Megacon. awesome pops yeah, here yeah. we also have bambi he's the original voice of uh, bambi oh no Not way we got master chief ninja turtles Wow, awesome booth here. Do you guys usually do giveaways and stuff like that? That's all we do, and and we're whatnoters, so we do a lot oh, of whatnot. awesome. We're on whatnot also. Shout oh, out your whatnot, man. Uh, Yellow Jack stuff. This is on a stand called Pro Stands. These are actually different than 3D printed. These are molded, so if you can see, the figure doesn't fall because it's, it has like um, an actual little hole. Oh in it. wow, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So it holds them up. Yep. Hey, you know what? For your channel viewers, I'm gonna give this as a giveaway. They just Thank have to go so to todayspop.com and sign up for our newsletter. Perfect. Okay. Here you go. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You it so might much. be a chase. I don't know. I just opened the box. It looks like there's a nice mixture of Funko Pops, comics, all kinds of cool things. Sarah spotted these really nice sets they have up there. Captain America, Mickey Mouse, and Deadpool. Yeah, there's some awesome some sets. Nice bigger sets. Here's the first real card booth we found. How you guys doing today? Good. How you guys doing? Good, good. Definitely trying to get into the Pokemon market, but... Oh, yeah. It's coming back. Yeah, it, it is. Go, it ain't going nowhere. Coolest thing on the it's table. Oh, yeah. Nice, yeah. Nice. nice, good. Scott, coolest thing on the table. It's the old promos back from 99 to up to 2002. Tournament cards, the first movie, things you can't really find anywhere. And when you do, you, you know, you gotta make sure they're in good quality. So we got them from uh, distributors boxes. That's awesome. So. Very cool. Yeah, very, very cool. You guys have a website? Or sure, you we guys... got an entire uh, store. We're based out of oh, Daytona perfect. Beach. Oh, are you guys gonna be at the Daytona oh, Con too? Uh, probably, yeah. We got, that's where we live. <laughs> Pokemon addict. See what we got over here? Someone just picked something else up from Lenny. Oh, no way. You got the same book as us. <laughs> we just got that. Except your great nice. We just got the same book from Lenny in a 7-0, but ours was a newsstand. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean... First Harley Quinn. But what I paid for it, it's love. Yeah. It's love. Yeah, I think I think we got ours for from Joe for, yeah, was for like a, 300 bucks, yeah, I want to say, for, like for the newsstand 7-0. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, very good nice. deal. I traded a couple books yeah. to get my price down. They wanted 450, but I traded it down to three, and go. then then he got me a 90 on it. So there you go, man. Red oh, She Hulk, that that's an iconic fiction. cover right there. Look at that Pulp Fiction homage 9.8 on that Pulp Fiction, that's 219, awesome. some pops, and over here, some CGC slabs. You got some great stuff, awesome. lots it, of John. key issues. You only deal in slabs? We just got lazy. We have our comics in there, but it's just one of those days. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got some really nice stuff here. 120 bucks, $129 for the first War Machine. Huge Funko Pop booth. That's it for all the comic books. I think that was the last one right over there. So we're gonna go back to the other two booths real quick that we were at earlier. We still only have our one little stack here, so I'm thinking we're gonna go back over to Tom's booth and check that out and see what we can grab. I got a nice big stack of books over here. Lots of cool comic books, some early Avengers, so many great Spider-Man comics. We'll show you guys the haul once we get back in the car. Awesome Lake County comic convention coming up here soon. It takes place in Grove, Florida at Trilogy. Uh, right off of Highway 27. Also do the Claremont Comic Con awesome. for seven years. This show, uh, we're gonna have Joseph Schmalky, who is the, uh, he's a uh, creator with Black Caravan. Oh, uh, wow, really Scout. cool. And um, we have an exclusive cover for his new book, Seven Years in Darkness. Seven Years in Darkness. It's only available at the show. Check out everything, guys. Thank you so much for letting us know about it. We'll see you there. All right, we are leaving now. We've got two bags of books. We got some awesome stuff today. We got a Funko soda from a man, Jonathan, over at the Funko booth to give away in our next stream. We had an amazing time. We saw so many people, but we're gonna go ahead and show you the books once we get into the car. So many awesome things. I'm gonna go through it with you. Yeah, our battery's about to die on the camera, yeah, so we gotta go quick. through nice and quick. <laughs> really cool comic books. Lots of awesome McFarlane issues. Yeah, really comment like down below one. your favorite grab that we got today. So many great pickups. That Daredevil's for my personal collection. Oh, I think collection. these are flipped around. Some awesome ASM. We found some books that were in very nice condition as well. High quality books. Some really great Spider-Man. I did find some early X-Men too. 
some more ASM. Amazing Spider-Man, lots of key issues. Wolverine 10. We got some great deals over here. Everybody was so nice at the so convention. So many awesome books. And, and then of course the slabs. CGCs. All new Spider-Man's back. We did go through these a little bit earlier with Lenny, but we got so many great CGC books. So many awesome raw books today at the convention. We had a great time, met so many amazing people, and we hope you all enjoyed the video and coming along with us. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching everyone. Angela's blinded. I stole his sunglasses. We should probably get another pair of those, but we had an amazing time. Hit that like, comment down below what your favorite part was, and we hope to see you all in the next video. All right, have a great day, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching.